We have indeed, and look at this, it's a very fat waddling hyena. So I think this particular hyena has definitely had quite a big meal at some point in the evening. Now I'm not 100% sure who it is, so all our hyena experts, if you know who this is, let us know. It looks like one of the big females, so I'm not sure exactly which one, but they've definitely just come off some sort of food. Look at how fat that tummy is. She's almost waddling as she goes up the road. Now, they think they probably, if she's full like this, hopefully going to be heading back towards the den. So I'm just going to see if she's going to just come past us. They often do kind of cut through this bush here. So don't worry, Seb, I'm going to turn around now and try and see if I can't just get her to back in the road and then we'll follow from there. But she's going into a little thicket, which is typical of hyenas. They often do this when you're in front of them. But never fear, they do come back to the road eventually. So we just need to turn around quickly. There we go. You can still see her. She's just ambling parallel with us at the moment. So hopefully she'll start coming back to the road. I'm just going to park off here and see if she will do so. Now that we've turned off, she might start heading back this way. But she's just directly in front here in this thicket. And there we go. There she comes. You can see, look at that belly's... It's not completely distended, but it definitely is very full. And it's so nice to see her sun of backlit by that morning light. You can see her fur just catching those golden rays. Unfortunately, it's behind about 400 trees, but... It's okay, there we go. Now hopefully they're gonna go back to the den. I'm gonna try and see if I can't stick with this hyena just to see where it goes to because it would be nice if it went back to the den and the den was then active. And when we went past the den a little bit earlier and while there was no activity, there was this pungent smell of rotting meat. It was very, very, very stinky at the den. So I wonder if something wasn't taken back there last night and the amount of tracks that we saw was quite indicative of something going on. Now unfortunately where she's heading is almost impossible to try and follow but I'm going to try and see if I can anyway. Let's just get in here. Now I tried to follow Hosanna through here the other day and it was less than easy. So hopefully she's going to come back towards the road. It seems like she is, which is fantastic news for us. So, Lara, the hyenas will not regurgitate to feed the cubs. It's not like a wild dog. Wild dogs will get their faces licked by the young ones, and that causes them to then regurgitate chunks of meat for their puppies whereas hyenas what they'll do is they'll rather bring pieces of meat back to the den so hyena will grab a leg or a chunk of meat or even sometimes a whole carcass i once watched a female hyena drag a fully grown male impala carcass which you must imagine that is heavy it's almost 90 kilograms of dead weight and it dragged it for eight kilometers we followed it the whole way as it dragged it down the road but eight kilometers all the way back to the den and then let the young ones feed off it so they will take massive sort of chunks of meat back home but if it is a female that has got young ones you'll find she will consume a lot to be able to then start turning that into nutrients for her milk so that when she then goes back to the den her milk is rich with food and nutrients and that then supplies the little ones and they are able to survive off that so even if they do eat it's eventually at some point transformed into nutrients for the babies but you can see from behind here how full she actually is kind of got that round appearance which hyenas when they haven't eaten don't really have they don't often look a little bit more sleek but she's definitely got a full full tummy and those back legs are almost kind of going outwards trying to walk but she is slowly heading northwards towards the den we're quite far at this stage but if she continues on the route that she's going we're going to go straight towards the den itself now i'm not sure if anybody's managed to id it because if it is ribbon or well, if it was Ribbon, then it would be quite interesting because if she gets to the den, then she'll start trying to call those little ones out. So, Donna, you're wondering if hyenas would ever attract a giraffe. Well, yes. I saw last year in the drought, the clan on elephant plains, the 28 of them pulled down a fully grown male giraffe. So they do attack giraffe very regularly, and they'll particularly go after 
the little babies so you'll find they'll go after the young giraffe and that's why you often see giraffe with missing tails and that's because of the hyenas that have tried to sort of pull those tails by or pull the giraffe by the tail to anchor it and sometimes they chew through and they cause a lot of damage and then infection happens and the tail then falls off and you end up with these adults with tails missing now she is cutting off and going towards now treehouse dam so often when you have a situation where you get a full hyena like this they then go towards water to potentially drink so we're just going to loop around there's no point in following her through the bush because we know she's going to pop out on a road fairly shortly so i'm just going to quickly get around that way